brothers and sisters. I want to share this message with you. I know a lot has transpired over the weekend. We saw the beloved Shikari Richardson. We saw what happened in the race. I know you're probably saying, what are you doing starting out with the beloved Shikari Richardson? As many have been focusing their attention on the fact that she lost the race, so many have forgotten the various races that she had won before throughout her whole career. There is a similar situation in which when the Israelites had 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 embarked and began to uh, be on the journey from being released from Pharaoh. When they ran out of food, a lot of the a lot of the Israelites began to pay attention to what what was happening in their current situation, right? They began to throw in the towel. They began to, 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 they, they adopted a perspective that they had forgotten that their situation in which that they had just gotten released from They forgotten that they was up under captivity of Pharaoh. Somebody, y'all, y'all, y'all not get this. Like y'all not get this. Let me help you out. A lot of people chose this weekend to focus on Shakari Richardson and the fact that she lost this race. They failed to. They failed to look at her overall career as she had won prior races, prior medals. The Israelites, because they ran into an obstacle, they forgot that they were up under captivity so much that they started saying that the situation that they had just gotten released from was better than where they were at. Oh, I'm about to help somebody. Sometimes we have got to change our outlook on how we see things. Some of us concentrate on the negativity so much that we forget about all the stuff that is going right in our lives. The stuff that God has brought in us from. The stuff that God has delivered us from. The stuff that God has already uh, uh, provided exceedingly above and beyond that we could ever think or imagine, right? In certain situations that God has, some of us, we've been delivered from dope. We've been de delivered from crack. We've been delivered from heroin. We've been delivered from alcohol. Some of us used to have different lifestyles that we don't want to really talk about, but if we got to keep it a hundred on a thousand, as I always say on Uncut Live Productions, we have got to start changing our outlook on how we see certain things, y'all, because the truth of the matter is, is, is that none of us have gotten everything right on the first time. None of us, oh, I'm, I'm going to help somebody. Y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to hear this type of conversation. But this is the type of conversation that we need to have, y'all. Because the truth is, is the fact that none of us have obeyed on the first time. We've done things when we was in our teens. We've done things when we was in our 20s. We've done things when we was in our 30s. We've done things when we was in our 40s. Believe it or not, there are some that are even in their 50s, 60s, 70s and whatnot. And guess what? They have some things that they that that oh 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 let the church say amen. The only difference between of 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 what the things that we 
have done or are doing is, is that a lot of us, ours is not put on public display as some of these uh, sports athletes are, these celebrities are. What I'm saying is this, y'all. When did we become, when did we become undeserving of grace? When did we become undeserving of mercy? It seems like now, nowadays, we are willing to write people off so quick that we forgot that we once did certain things. Oh, somebody don't want to hear this message, and I don't know who this message is for. But let us be very careful. Just as Jesus had told the, 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 the accusers that brought the lady in the midst of the crowd. He brought the lady and said, look, this lady was caught in the midst of committing adultery. And then what did Jesus say? I love, I love what Jesus did. I love what Jesus said. I love what he did. He was writing something in the sand, right? As they approached, as he looked up, he said, Let he that is without sin cast the first stone. We've got to be careful, y'all, that we don't become so toxic act like God never given us grace, that God has never given us mercy, that God has never given us kindness, that God has not given us a second chance. Some of us know that we should be locked up. Some of us know that we should have certain charges. Some of us know the type of lifestyles that we were in, but glory be to the Lamb of God. Glory be to God that he showed mercy, that he showed us grace, that he gave us a second chance, that he gave us a second opportunity to get it right. No, because we didn't get it right on the first time. Some of us didn't get it right on the second time. Some of us didn't get it right on the third time. Some of us didn't get it right on the fourth time. Some of us didn't get it right on the fifth time. Some of us didn't get it right on the sixth time. Y'all get the point of what I'm saying? Let us make sure that we love and we see things through the eyes in which that God sees sees things. We got to be careful that we don't operate in a in a fashion to where we're not extending grace, to where we're not extending love, to where we're not extending kindness, to where we're not extending patience. Because face it, my brothers and sisters, we have all been in the place in our lives well, we haven't always done things right. Peace and blessings, y'all. Peace and blessings.